Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crown and Council. I want to say a massive thank you for 2,000 likes on the last video. I didn't think this game would be that popular, but a lot of you want to see this again. So we're back with another video. And again, 2,000 likes on this one and we'll do another one. I really didn't expect to be uh, recording this again, but I love an excuse to play a game that I like. And this is certainly a game that I like. So we're now on map number 9. We have a helpful tip. Keys 1 to 4 will set the number of human players. That's interesting. So you can play this with a friend. I did not know that. <laughs> I'd not seen that tip before. Okay, so here we are again. We've got some armies. We're going to take over the city because it produces extra gold. And I think I counted this either in the video before or just by myself. Oh, that's connected to that bit, is it? Good to know. Good to know. Because otherwise I might have been saving up to use the, uh, the ship to go across islands. Yes, uh, a little experiment that I did. You get the gold. If you've got a city, you get the gold regardless of if it's a tile you just took over. That being said, we've only got three gold. One from that one and two from the city. So yeah, that's correct. <laughs> I was right. So we're going to go here and then there. And notice that these guys have built a, uh, a little bit of research. Oh, if we'd have overtaken that, we'd have knocked them out of the game. Um, they're probably going to be aggressive in return to us now. No, they've gone that way and built a city. Well, I think it'll be effective to take them out. They're our neighbour. We don't want them attacking us. And we get a city by doing this. And I think now we just want to march over all of this territory. And we've got one gold left over, which we'll hang on to for now. So, while no one else is expanding, we don't really need to defend ourselves too much, I think. Just focus on perhaps taking over um, some more territory. I want to go for this island down here next, while they fight over the top area. There is a mine right there, so we can get some more gold. And we've got seven more gold. Let's take this guy off of the island. Let's take over their city. And, oh, we've run out of gold. I was going to take the rest of it for myself. So, you know, who's going to win this one? What do you think? It's going, going all in our favor at the moment. Let's continue taking these over. So now we've got 14 gold. We could start invading this place. And I think we're going to go for a different strategy here. We will just try to blitz through this one without fortifying and see if we can just do the level nice and quick. How does that sound? Um, okay, so seven more gold. Another three. Let's take over the mine. And I was about to say now would be a good time to actually fortify a little bit, but we've run out of gold. So there we go. We control most of the map. Let's see what the enemy chooses to do. Wow, we're doing alright. And we've got 27 gold. I think we might be able to just charge through here. Let's just keep attacking. There we go. Just one by one. 15 gold left. <laughs> and we're going to knock red out. I keep losing like focus on this, which is annoying. Uh, let's take those two. So then when it's this guy's turn, well, it's not even going to be his turn because we have vanquished our enemies and won map 9. So on to map 10. Helpful tip. Choose upgrades with care. Yes, yes. You've got to think about how the game is going, what's happening around you, before you, of course, go and pick which upgrade you want. Um, we could try and aim for that one immediately here. Bam. Oh, it gets rid of it. Of course it does. Well, let's click done. And I'm thinking that if this guy moves down here, we'll need to fortify that territory. Yep, which is done. And we possibly want to move into one of these and fortify. Now, we've only got three. And quite honestly, I think we're going to have people fighting over our territory very quickly. So I'm going to fortify, which means we get off to a bit of a slow start, right? Okay, but we've kept all of our territory. And that's decent. So I'm going to build a city here and here. And then we're going to fortify that one and put yet another city there. Now if we hold on to everything, next turn... Oh, we're going to plague? What? Just spent my coins on that. Bam, that was unlucky. Uh, we have nine gold. We need to be aggressive now. I think the time for being passive is gone. Come on, let's skip down there. Five attacks. Give me some luck. Let's take the city. Let's take their research. All that one. Go on. Click on something, please. I'm clicking, game. What is going on? Two gold. Do something. Bam. There we go. Okay, so purple will probably take back a few territories, but... Yeah, we're in an alright situation there. we just got to hope that green doesn't come for us. So nine gold again. And this should be easier than... I'm clicking and nothing is happening. It's really annoying when it does that. There we go. Come on. Attack these places, please. Wow. <laughs> just have to spam away, basically. 
Uh, one gold left. Can we can we take it? I'm clicking. Bam. Unlucky. But as long as green doesn't attack us, we should be okay. There you go. See, he's taken back one territory. And now it's our turn to take these back. There we go. That's what I like to see. So we have eight gold. Let's build a whole bunch of cities. And actually, no, I think we should get fortified as well. Let's put a fort right there, and we'll save our gold for the next round. So yeah, as I've said before, I like to have my forts next to the cities so that they're harder to take over and you can potentially take your cities back. I think it's a good strategy. Let's fortify this area a little bit more, make sure we're generating uh, more gold. We're going to put two more cities and this right here, which leaves us with five gold. Now, we could go to one of these islands with four, but I think we should just attack the other player. They've removed their fortification. We're going to put a fortification there, and let's see if we can take that city. Bam, we can. That's nice. That's a very good turn for us. Very good turn indeed. And we don't keep the city, but we're just going to march on up here and build another fortification there. Now we've got 18 gold, so it won't be long before we're wiping out our opponents. I'm going to take out their little islands of the cities. That seems like a smart idea. And do you know what? I actually just want to attack the forts now and move up here. Hey, keep selected you. Wow, the roll of the dice is not in our favour. <laughs> there we go, let's keep on going. Actually, no, we'll put a fortification there again. Nice, so... We're, we're pretty much going to win this one. We just want to see how quickly we can do it now, I guess. Right? Yep, yep, yep. See you later. And now we send our ships out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Vanquished our enemies. And we're on to map 11. So, helpful tip. Try to isolate a few areas and block them off with forts. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting idea. Now, we start directly next to an enemy. I'm not sure if I really like that, but we have six gold. Now, we could try and take them out immediately. I think I'd rather, like, get the city in first. Oh, oh, I thought we didn't take that over for some reason. Hi. And the gold mine? Yes, that's fantastic. We get two more territories if we play our cards, right? I think we need to let green go this way so he doesn't choose to attack us. And we will take over those territories there. And we are done. So, we should get two gold and hopefully some from the mine as well. Let's see. What do we get? Nothing from the mine, but we get our two here. Now, that was a strange move because you are now vulnerable. Hi. And we're left with two gold. And we knock that player out of the game. Now, red, I think, is going to be our biggest threat at this point. Oh, wow. Red did not get lucky trying to take our city. And look, purple can go there as well. That's fascinating. So I think we should take this territory and that one and fortify uh, those two, which leaves us with two gold. And I'm going to put that two gold just there. So we've got two cities. Excellent stuff. All right. We're off to a strong start. And red is easily invadable at the moment. In fact, this one's going to be over real quick, isn't it? We just need to sort of focus and, and make it happen. Hi. Yes. Bam. See you later. Uh, actually, let's fortify this before we attack. We've got three gold. How many roll of the dice will it take? No, no luck for us this time. But look at it. We're going to win this one, right? <laughs> These levels have gotten a little bit easier, I've noticed. The, the difficulty doesn't seem to be linear as such. Um, we'll have to send ships out to get the ones at the bottom here. There we go. Let's take the ones either side. Hi, I'm clicking, and now all we got is that. So five gold, and bam, we've done it. We've vanquished our enemies. We're on to map 12. Never use more ships than necessary. Once you're in, use army. That is something that we just did a second ago, and that can be an easy mistake to make. If you've got your ships selected, you might accidentally, um, yeah, continue using them. So let's look at the situation. We have five gold, and we just need to fortify ourselves in to this island really. I mean we've been given the, the strong opportunity because we can take over the land quite easily. The other players will probably not attack us just yet. Okay, wow. Red's knocked a player out of the game. That's aggressive. Uh, here's what I want to do. I want to fortify actually. <laughs> um, we're going to let Red take that territory and see if we can hold on to these ones. Okay, and then we should have a fair amount of gold to start fortifying and building cities. But Red hasn't taken that territory, which is inviting me to fortify it. And with this four gold we have left, we're going to roll the dice. And yes, we got the mine. Excellent. Wow, we've had a rebellion. We've had a rebellion. 
Now, look at the different strategies here. Red is going for research, so we should probably just chip away at red. In fact, let's just march up there. See you later. <laughs> and we've got four. Let's try and attack and get a city. Bam! We are We are going to ace this one as well. They ain't got nothing on us. Let's take them out of the game. Roll of the dice, come on. I'm clicking. Oh, we had 12 gold. None of it worked. You see, I could build some cities and get gold faster, but at this point it's pretty obvious what we need to do. And three successful rolls of the dice. Okay, that is it. We should build a city somewhere. Bam, there you go. Okay, and it's just a matter of time. These levels have been quite easy, haven't they? And there we go. Vanquished our enemies once again. Map 13. Maybe you can use ships to bypass a fort. That I have not thought of doing before. When I'm on the land, I often look at just going through territories one by one. That's really good. That's good advice. Okay, so we start here. By the way, I think we are now past where I've played before. Um, what I want to do is defend this territory by having this one. What I'm looking at here... Oh no, we're actually connected to that one as well, are we? Okay, never mind. Sometimes you want to take over a territory because it sort of shields your other ones, but that's not one of them. Uh, we want to take that and we want to go for the city. So we're going to try and just put ourselves up in this corner with the city and the gold mine and then fortify down at this front line. Ah, interesting. That guy had a, like, a lot of gold to begin with. Maybe now it's going to get tough. Let's see. Uh, we've got free gold. We want that city. And we just want to take a little bit more territory around the back here. Um, let's stop that green guy from going behind us. And that looks okay. It's going to be interesting to see where green moves now because... Oh, plague got us. Talk about luck. <laughs> okay. Let's take these free... Oh, hi. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to build a city where we don't have a territory. Now we've got five gold. I'm going to fortify... Actually, I'd like to fortify there. I think we'll fortify here for now. And we'll build a city below it. So that looks okay. And let's see how this develops. Because we've got some strong enemies here with purple and green. I think red's not doing too great. They're also going for research again. And when they do that, it seems like you can knock them out a little bit quicker. Maybe research should have been cheaper in general. Um, I want to fortify our areas. So we're going to spend six gold. And that means we're going to spend an additional four in these places on gold. Excellent. Right, so now we're very well fortified. Again, though, they could use boats to sort of come anywhere in our territory, but just thinking across the land, uh, we're well defended at these two points. So who's the biggest threat at this point? Who's going for research? I think green's the biggest threat. Green is spreading out, so I think we need to attack up the top here. Now, we could attack... Ah, look, we can get to that location. Fascinating. And with 25 gold, we can sweep through the land. <laughs> let's let's try that. Let's try sweeping through the land. Let's just attack so much stuff that it will leave them um, in a bit of a situation, right? I mean, we don't have to defend this stuff properly, uh, but it's going to provide us a lot and them a little. We've just sort of attacked everyone everywhere in one go. <laughs> I quite like it. Let's get the uh, research going here. We've still got gold to spend. Two more golds. Where are we going to go? I don't know. Uh, let's just build a city back in our area. Hi. Wow, that was the move right there. That was just uh, like a sort of power play, I guess you could say. So we're going to lose a lot of it. We know that. But we'll end up with a fair bit of gold again to just do the same thing over again. So let's march through all of these territories and take them back. Yep, all of that's mine. That city as well. That bit there. <laughs> uh, we'll attack that. Get the gold mine. Get that little bit there. So now all that's left is fortifications, right, pretty much, except for that territory. So we got six. Let's start pinning these in a little bit. We're going to put forts there and there and uh, leave it for the next turn. So I think next turn we might get lucky and win this, but we'll have to see. There's a, there's a lot of back and forth now, isn't there, because they take over a lot of our stuff. Then we've got to go and take it back, but that's fine. That's working out okay, and we'll go down here again. Nice. Come on. Right, so, what do we want to do now? We want to take out red out of the game. See you later, red. We've got 18 gold. We'll also try for purple as well. Just click back and forth. But the clicking is unresponsive again. There we go. Two players taken out of the game. Now let's go for green up the top here. Yep, you're gone. 
Oh, look at that. Wow. Come on, just one more fort in that area. And we've done it. We vanquished our enemies. That was very aggressive and very effective. So map 14, helpful tip. Maybe you can use ships to bypass a fort. You just told us that a moment ago. Wow, this looks like... Okay, that's going to disappear when you take it over. Yeah, this looks like one heck of a, a level. We're going to start off with an island. Now, we played a map earlier that was very grindy and difficult. And it was because you had this sort of fight over small amounts of territory. Now, I'm going to say that this continent here might be very effective to take over. At the same time, it might also be a bad move to go down there. I'm going to just put another city down so we've got some generation going on here. Now, do we want to move in there? Do we want to be aggressive? I kind of feel like we have to. So, if we go here, we want to build a fort. Hi. Actually, we want to roll the dice. Ah, oh, unlucky. I would have built the fort one block further forward had we won that battle. So, we're not generating a lot of gold, but as long as we don't get attacked, we're sort of in an okay position. I am going to uh, go over to... Oh, wait a minute. He's built a research bit. Um, hmm. Take over one, we're going to have to build a fort. No, I think we need more gold. Oh, that's not good. We're going to have to attack this square to make a difference. Wow, that wasn't good at all. We really needed the roll of the dice there. Okay. No worries, we've still got two cities. And that area has been taken over. Can we now go and get that? Yes, yes we can. Then we go on foot to this island and we will build a city there as well. Uh, which leaves us with free gold. We are going to hold on to that. We're going to hold on to it indeed. Okay, so we're looking good. I'm aware that we might get attacked here. I'm thinking attacking these little islands are worth it because you take over the cities. So if we go for red and then we go for purple, we're sort of creating less of a backlash of a threat because they're going to have less money now, um, if that makes sense. I think it does. And we've got, like, no choices. We're going to hold on to our gold. And see what green does. Now, green's pushed us off the island. And has also got two research points going on. Which is kind of worrying. Um, we can attack anywhere, remember. I'm thinking island to island when I go to that corner. Let's go to... Maybe the city and over here. Right, we've got the city. Let's get rid of their research. Excellent. We now have two gold. I don't think we're going to spend that on anything. So we're sort of trying to disrupt them. Now, we should probably get rid of purple and red at this point, I'm thinking. Wow, look at that. Okay. Um, we have 17 gold. I think, actually, we need to get rid of these cities. Oh, come on. A little bit of luck. Yes. Roll of the dice. In our favor. Hi. Come on. We can get it. Oh, man. There we go. And I'm going to build a fort here. Which leaves us with one gold. I would have liked to have done a little bit more that time. But that's all we got around to. Two plagues at the top. I don't know if you noticed them. That's important. Okay, we've solidified our position on this island, I think. Um, let's bring back our cities. Let's remove green's height. Go there. Bam. Let's remove... Actually, no. Let's attack... Let's attack this point. No, no. We're going to take away the gold first. Right, now, now we'll roll the dice and try and get there and we're unlucky unfortunately okay that's that's fine by me we're slowly doing this we've got to take out a couple more players I think look at that they've taken back some territory damn we really needed to hold on to that so we need to reclaim that nice get the city next to it reclaim this one hi go over there bam red is out of the game interesting because there was a rebellion over here um, green's got a lot of research points we have to now Get lucky. Come on. And again, go for that one. That may have been a decisive bit of luck. Because once he gets a stronger army, we're kind of stuffed here. And we're losing things to plagues, I've just noticed. We haven't like gained enough leverage, really, here to make a massive difference. Which is kind of a big problem, I think. Okay, so now we've got seven gold. Do we want to push into the island, or do we want to try and take over that? I think we want to try and take over this. Hi. And with two left, we'll build it back on our main island. Okay, so I feel like, although it looks like we might be winning, I think green's doing a lot better than it looks like. Uh, we should probably take purple out of the game now. So see you later. Oh, no, come on, that's a waste of four gold. There we go. And I think for our next round, we're going to save up, or sorry, gain as many coins as we can, and then just 
swamp the island before he gets all those research points. I think you can see the other player's research points at some point, by the way, but I'm not sure how. Um, so I think we should go for the mine in the middle. Yes, we got the mine. Now we're going to go back. Hi, hi, hi. And now we want to fortify our position here, which we've done. And then we need to attack their research. We've got this, haven't we? We've surely got it now. Look at that. Look at that. No chance. No chance you're coming back from that. We've done it. There we go. See you later. What's Green going to do? Let's see if we can see research points free. So she must have spent it on something, but I couldn't quite figure out what. Um, either way, we're taking all of this back. And we're just spending our gold on the fortress. Look at that. We've done it. Amazing. Come on. <laughs> Four more. Yeah, we vanquished our enemies. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So that's actually going to be it from me this one. I thought I'd do just a shorter video this time. 20 minutes or whatever. Um, so again, if you want some more of this game, 2,000 likes. We'll happily do another one. This is a lot of fun. We're up to map 15 now. And of course, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what this one is about. It's nice and big and open, which to me makes it feel like it's probably going to be an easy one. But anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.